Good morning! How are you today, my little explorers? I hope you're doing well. It's science class and today we have a new lesson. So everyone, what I want you to do is to put your hands in the air, shake your hands up and down, up and down, then shout, it's science class. So let's do it together, hands in the air, shake your hands, up and down, up and down, and say, it's science class. So I am so excited because it's weekend and today is Thursday, Thursday all day long. It means you're going to enjoy your time tomorrow and after tomorrow. So. Remember, in the English subject yesterday, I asked you to write about what will you do in the weekend. So don't forget to do this. Okay, now let's read the date. So the date is April 30, 2020. So today's lesson will be about... Um, I need your help. Just look at the picture and tell me what can you see. I can see a drop of water. And in the drop of water, I, or in the center of the drop of the water, I can see Earth. Okay. So today we are going to talk about bodies of water. So as you can see here in the picture, the water is covering the, the earth. earth right okay and as you can see here a hand is carrying the earth and this hand means people should take care of the environment which means the water the animals the plants okay and remember our prophet muhammad وسلم, teaches us how to use the water wisely and not to waste it so everyone, let's move to the lesson and our objectives for today are I can identify some bodies of water like oceans, lakes, and ponds. I can compare and contra contrast between different bodies of water. Here we go. So everyone, here are two videos about the importance of water. And yesterday we have talked about the importance of water and how the water is very important and no one can live without it. And especially in these days, as you can see, uh, we're washing or we're using the water to wash our hands all the time because of the coronavirus and keep doing this everyone. Okay, and when you're done, you can also watch a nice song about the difference between fresh and salty water and where can we find them. So enjoy your time and watch the videos. Okay, everyone, before uh, we talked about landforms, do you remember? We talked about mountains, hills, valleys. What else, everyone? I need your help. Canyons. Well done. What else? Plains. Okay, we call all these land forms. And today we're going to learn about bodies of water. Bodies of water. So I want you to get your science book and to open page 48. Okay. And write the day and date. Okay, everyone? So... I want you to look at the pictures over here and to tell me what can you see. So what can you see everyone? Let's go to the first picture. Tell me what can you see? I can see a pond and I can see water. Sorry, I can see a pond and I can see mountains. Mountains? Okay. And what's between the mountains here? A pond. No, this is not a pond. An ocean? Yeah. It's an ocean. And this one is? A pond. Well done. Okay, so everyone, let's read what's written over here about bodies of water. So 
So let's read together. Bodies of water. Earth has many forms of water. Almost all of that water is in the oceans. An ocean is a large deep body of salt sea of salt water. Fresh water is found in lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams. A lake is a body of water that has land around it. Ponds also have land all oh. around them, but they are smaller than lakes. So everyone, as you can see, an ocean is in a large deep body of salt water. And almost all of the water is in the oceans. So have you ever been to the sea before? Here in UAE, we have a lot of beaches. Okay, so if you go to Al Hamiriya beach, let's say in Charja, and if you swim there, you can tell that the water of the ocean or of the sea is salty. Okay, so everyone, I want you to highlight this information uh, because it's very important. An ocean is a large, deep body of salt water. Okay, so let's read what's written over here. Fresh water is found in lakes. Okay, so lakes ponds, rivers, and streams. So, a lake is a body of water that has land all around it. So let me draw a lake. Okay, this is, everyone, a lake. Okay, let me choose the blue color. So, this is a lake, everyone. Oh, oh, sorry. So, this is a lake, okay. And it's a body of water that has land all around it. As you can see, let me change the color. So, it has land all around it this is the lake okay and the lake has fresh water while the pond is same as the lake but it's smaller than the lake so let's draw let's say this is a pond and it's smaller than the, the lake well done so let me color it blue okay and it has also a fresh water so everyone as you can see here the pond is uh, as same as the lake but it's smaller than the lake and also uh, it has land all around it so everyone, what is the difference between uh, the ocean and the lakes, ponds, rivers and streams? That uh, the ocean has salty water while these have, uh, or have, sorry, um, fresh water. So everyone, how are ponds and lakes similar? They both have fresh water and they have land all around it. Yeah. Okay, so remember everyone, ponds and lakes are similar because they have fresh water and also uh, land all around. So everyone, an ocean is a large body of salt water that surrounds a continent. As you can see, the blue, sorry, the blue areas over here represent what represent the ocean ocean well done so everyone the four main oceans are the atlantic the pacific the indian and the arctic 
The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. And everyone tell me what can you see? I can see two pictures. Four? The first one has a lake on it and the second one has a pond. Well done. So let's read what's written over here. A lake is a large body of fresh water surrounded by land on all sides. Pond, a very small body of water that is surrounded by land. So everyone remember, both of them are the same, but the lakes are much bigger than the pond. Well done. And something else, uh, both of them have fresh water and surrounded by land on all sides. So here we go. Task number one and two are waiting for you. But you can choose one of them if you want. So, task number one, let's read the question. How are ponds and lakes similar? So, think about the answer and write it over here. Task number two, watch the video in the link below, then circle what you learn from it. It is important to save water. There is too much water on earth that will never finish. So everyone, finally write on the sticky notes below some simple words describing these three bodies of water. So, what can we say about the ocean? It has salty water and it's big. It has, okay, let me write salty water. And what about the pond? It has fresh water. And what about the lake? It also has fresh water. But it's much bigger than? The pond. Well done. So finally, everyone, please picture your work and upload it in your portfolio on ClassDojo. And have a nice week and bye.